What's going on, guys? As you can see, I have two very special guests here. We have Justin Copeland with Stay Fresh Productions and Andrea, also known as Curly Sense. So, as per usual, when we get together, we're going to smell some fragrances. And I have a very specific theme for these guys because mm -hmm. pretty sure they haven't smelled these particular five. A few of them, I'm positive they have not. And I want to see what kind of reactions we can get. Those of you that remember last year and Spice Bomb Infrared, there's always potential for gold in these videos. Uh oh. So we're going to be doing some blind smelling oh rates with five very particular 2022 designer releases that I've picked out. So stay tuned. So, show you guys first. Uh huh, this one should be interesting. All of them should be interesting, honestly. Put that in my pocket real quick. All right, guys, turn around. Mm. Let's get our own, all yeah, right. Tell me what you think. This ought to be interesting. Mm. Deep in thought. <laughs> Ladies mm. first. This has uh, good potential. How so? It has that um, sexy, sporty vibe that I like in a cologne. Mm, that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, Anything kind of jumping out at you? Yeah, it's very green. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of a, like a fresh cut grass, maybe. That's fair. Am I close? You're getting there. You're definitely <laughs> getting there. That's for sure. Hmm. Any thoughts? You know, Interessante. I don't know what that means. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. I think um, I mean undeniably pleasant. Yeah. To me, I'm getting a mix of, you know, the surefire elements of a, you know, a mainstream designer yes. fragrance for men. It's like yeah. There's a little. That's bit of the theme here. Yeah. There's a little bit of sweetness <laughs> in there. That's almost like a, not bubble gum, but kind of Tonka Bean-ish. Um, in the I'm opening, not, there is a bubble maybe, gum Yeah, maybe feel a little bit of a bubble gum feel to it. It's, yeah. it's that yes, kind yes, of sweetness. Yes. It's playful. It is a fresh mm -hmm. kind of shower gel-ish feel yeah. as well. Maybe slightly floral too. Yes, I was getting like a white-ish floral, like yeah. an orange blossom yes. feel or something. There could potentially be that in there, but this is typical modern designer where they just give you a handful of notes. Yeah. yeah. So that could be in there. I'm not yeah. going to refute, yeah. but... Based on the notes they give you, that's not in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Any thoughts? We have uh, anything jumping out at you as far as notes or just mainly accords? Mainly accords. I mean... Maybe some bergamot or something orangey. That, orangey. Uh, yeah, orangey. Yes, definitely. Um, There's something they're the not orange telling blossom. us. Orange blossom. Yeah, like a sweet There's orangey feel. Definitely something they're not telling us in this note breakdown because yeah. I said the same thing in my first <laughs> Oh, impression. my God. Like there's, there's more to what they give you. Yeah. Rating? Uh, rating. Uh, we'll give these hmm, 7.5 out of 10. That's a very good rating. Yeah. Those was, of you that know my rating system, that's a very good rating. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like a 7. Yeah. 7 yeah. and a 7.5. What is it? That is fair. I, get, I believe I gave it an 8. It is the new Ralph's Club Parfum. It's the Ooh. new the brand new release. Ooh. Okay. So there's not too much information out on it. The nice. notes they give are cardamom, clary sage, and lavender. Okay. Virginia cedar and vetiver. Okay. I get a, on skin. I get a little something smoky. The mm -hmm. cardamom really, really pops oh, in this okay. one, and it's full of aromatics. That's mm -hmm. where you yeah. get that green, yeah. clary yeah. sage and stuff clary like sage that. sage can be sweet too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. But there's definitely more going on. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you say you prefer this over the original? The scent, yes. The performance, not so much. The the original does perform better. It's got more pop. It's yes. a lower oil concentration. More diffusive. This sits closer to the skin, mm -hmm. yeah. but it lasts forever. Yeah. Think Blue de Chanel Parfum, think the new Polo Blue Parfum. Yep. Kind of like that. There you go. Moving Lovely. on. All righty. I want to trash something. Well, you may get your, <laughs> you may get your opportunity. <laughs> I'm, leave, I, I'm leaving that in the video, so show you guys what it is. I just want to trash something. They're determined to trash a fragrance. You never know which one it might be. All right, guys, turn around. All right. I'll, it'll probably break my heart if y'all trash this one. Getting it in the air. Say no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm smelling like cocoa butter. Iris? That's fair. That <laughs> is in there. Yes, Iris is in there. Yeah, it's kind of coconutty, mm. creamy. Coconut is in there. Yeah. It is creamy. Makes sense. Yellow nail in it. These I guys mean, are good. I have a strong association yeah. with this type of scent yeah. as something you rub on your skin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not as not, not suntan lotion, but like a lot of tropical feel here. Yeah. Yeah. But even I'm getting then, a lot of iris. There's see, iris in really the top. I'm not really getting much iris, but I can see what you would mean. For some reason, my nose is like already shot and not smelling it. It, it also has like a slight delicious feel to it. It's Maybe the, the coconutty yeah, vibe that you're creamy, referring to. Creamy, creamy, vanilla-ish, iris. Tonka bean heavy fragrance. Hmm. That's okay. where you might be picking up a little bit of powder. It's It's got a nice strong okay. tonka bean base. Okay, so gonna, okay. That's where your vanilla is coming from. Cool, but if you asked me, uh, would you like to smell this on a guy? This is marketed for men? This is a men's fragrance. This is totally unisex to me. I agree. I wouldn't die for it. That's fair. That's I fair. wouldn't die for it. That's fair. <laughs> That's Look, not, yeah. I love Spice Bomb Infrared. She did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> subjective. <At all. laughs> That's subjective. At this I, point, you, you need to bring the clip back oh, to I the will. video. Yes. I, I will do the callback yes. for sure. Oh my God. A terrible reaction. Oh my God. Wait, you Tell me. Ross, you like it? hold Tell on. Me. This gave me a memory. Of? And it is not a good memory. Uh oh, <laughs> this is bad. Holy smokes! So this is changing though. Have you ever changed diapers before? I have. On a child. I have. That's what it smells wow, like. Wow, I disagree. When it's a loaded diaper. She, if that's what she's smelling, that's what she's smelling. So what do you think? Give me um, a rating. Uh, I don't know. I uh, will give this uh, six out of ten. That's actually not that bad though. It's not bad but it's not popping either it's not yeah. memorable no to it's you. not i feel like it's a nice scent but i do not see it as a fragrance on the body like mm. to like oh, i'm gonna put on something for the day to smell good where would you put it <laughs> no this is like a candle to me okay fair it's, enough it's Honestly, a fragrance for sweet enough. fragrance lovers yeah. for sure if you smell it on skin you really see how sweet it can be yeah so honestly mm -hmm. i'm also i don't find it unpleasant but i wouldn't wear it mm -hmm. i give it i think it's six as well six so a pair of, of six out of tens for one of my personal favorite releases this is jean paul gautier's le beau le parfum oh it's mm -hmm. way more coconutty than i thought it would be at the, least on from paper. what i hear the original le beau the the Eau de Toilette, yeah. I believe yeah. it is, is more coconut than this. I see. This adds pineapple, oh. cypress, iris. That's when oh. you get yeah. that tropical juiciness. A lot of, yeah, yeah, tropical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Six well. Six out of ten. Well, well, well. <laughs> okay. I like the color. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're looking, we're looking for one out of ten fragrances, according to these guys. So let me show you guys what we're dealing with. I'll have the bottle on screen. This one should be interesting. I'm very... Very curious. All right, guys, turn around. I still have the previous one on my nose. <laughs> we don't have any coffee beans either. <laughs> don't need them. All right, let's see. Hell yeah. I had a feeling this would get rave reviews. Oh my God. From this, I is, did. this is my favorite so far. Yes. I had a feeling they would love this one. Ooh, I did. warm. There's a warmth to it. It's very warm. Hmm. It's sweet, but not overly so. Mm -hmm. It has. Kind of like um, grape soda vibes. I yes, it does. That. On the paper, it now sure does. I smell that. it in the air. Now that you say that, I'm reminded of like mm -hmm. uh, a more youthful version of Dunhill Icon. Bravo! Yes, right? <laughs> These guys yeah. are good. You got it out That's of not my with brain. Yes, <laughs> yes. But Dunhill it is Icon. Yeah. Oh my God. It's got the grape soda vibe yes. that Dunhill Icon. It's I mean, warmer it's though. The Dunhill on paper, is a I will spicy. say on skin, yeah. you won't get, you won't get near okay. what you're getting right okay. now. Okay. I have to say. But well, I, know I love where you're Dunhill from. Icon. Let's just start from there. Yeah. So I, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> it's obvious, great. obvious yeah. that I'm gonna That's like this one. This, this is the fragrance of the three we sprayed so far that is just radiating around me right now. It's strong. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Seven point five. My highest so far. Uh, I'm not looking at you with expectation. It's it, up to you. I will give these eight point five. Eight point okay. five. So eight point five. So, so the so the most wanted parfum is the one to be the most for Andrea. The most wanted parfum. The most wanted parfum. The new flanker. Azaro. Wow. From Azaro. Nice. That's right. 
So a seven point okay, five and I can an eight see a little bit yeah. of the original. Um, There's a burning woods here. kind of burning embers type of, of a cord to it. That's but where that paper. fiery hot yeah, type of smell very, is. Very good. Yeah. Get this nice. one. There you go. On mm -hmm. paper, definitely grape soda. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does it on the paper for sure. <laughs> hey guys, here we go. That's strong too. Mm. Whew, here very we go. Strong. All right, let me show you guys first. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> As I smell. <laughs> Like I feel the same. Oh my God. All right, turn around. <laughs> all right, all right. Focus. Here we go. Justin. I'm ready. Here we are. At our next 10 in the making right here. I don't know. It may have gotten on me. Well, I don't know. Something is, my nose is just. <laughs> We're wearing out some olfactory here. Eating alive oh. here. Yeah. It's interesting. This is the most interesting to me so far. I feel like I'm not getting the full picture. Yeah. Because my nose is it just went blind a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, hmm. it's I like, smell it. It's oh, weird. Man, it's, it's like radiating. moving slowly. It's kind of elusive and it's different. There's something. Hmm. I thought you might like it's this, woody. One, Justin. It's quite woody. It is. It kind of has an old school vibe mm. to it. Um, kind of like gentlemanly. Yes. Very. vibe yeah. to Very. it with a, a nice freshness yeah it is mm -hmm. fresh hmm. it's quite dry and woody dry yeah. and woody for um, sure if i was to tell you that oak is the wood in there would okay. you be surprised no 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 makes sense. i was gonna say it kind of reminds me when you open like a wooden cabinet yes. that with dry spices. That dryness yeah. to it yeah mm -hmm. interesting it's interesting on the paper it's coming off a little bit one maybe two dimensional i'm not getting a ton of depth i'm not getting a, hmm. a lot of things working That's fair. together I'm, I'm just getting wood right now mm. does he have any lavender in here i don't recall there being lavender there's something hmm. there probably kind of is off the top of my head i don't remember if there is um there is a nice bright cypress note though okay okay and some lemon a lot okay. of lemon I was going to say something is a little bit bright about it and almost mm. like tart, like my mouth is watering. It's a lot of lemon in the top. Yeah. Mm. It's a very authentic mouth watering. I like it. I mm. like it because it's different. I, I don't know if I would immediately say this is a designer fragrance, mm -hmm, to be mm -hmm, honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. This is more to my taste. I mean, I'm, I'm I interested to like learn this. more. I, I can't, I brought I can't this say one I love it, but I'm like, I want to know more. All right. I mean, it's not really my cup of tea, mm -hmm. but I can appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Understand. Um, if I were to give this a rating, six point five out of ten. Six point okay. five. Because this is interesting me to learn more, I'll give it an eight. It eight out of ten. So this is the interest. one to beat for Justin. It has my interest. Mm. So this is Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. Oh, mm, the newest. Well, that explains the quality. It's so the it's smoothest it's the signature one. line. Yeah, but the quality is inherent. Yeah, you can you get that Tom Ford quality I was like, to man, the blend. This thing is everything. moving through the nostrils it very is, like smoothly. Yeah, it is a lot better on skin than it mm -hmm. is. But this one actually does give you a pretty good picture of what it's about on paper. That's like, a rare thing for fragrances like when it comes to paper. Right. Yeah, I like this. Interesting. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Show you guys first before I split this and spray. Let's go. Come on. Can we get the ten? Hold on, we're going to see. Road to 10. Or road. the road to 1. I know you still <laughs> got to trash something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Turn around. All right. Turn around. <laughs> turn around and Potent. <laughs> Potent. Suffocating me right now after spraying Ooh, those papers. Oh, yes. Whoa. I saved what I feel might be the most interesting for last. This is kind of familiar. There's something oh. it reminds me of very specific, which yeah. after, after I'll bring up. And you'll be like, yes! <laughs> wow. Hmm. Okay. It's like I'm smelling and I feel like, oh, I, yeah, this smell, wait, no, it's changing. You know, I'm like, I'm getting close to some element of it and then it like changes on me. I'm like, oh, it's sweet. No, it's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's woody. Oh, it's not that woody. Any thoughts? Mm. You seem to like it based it, on I, I, I love it. I love it. It kind of... Correct me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong. Okay. It kind of reminds me of Mont Blanc Legend. Okay. It yes. has a vibe. I can see. I can see that. Something in here reminds me of that fragrance. That's fair. 
Uh, but this is more aromatic. Mm -hmm. It's very aromatic. A lot. A lot. A lot of aromatics in here. I'm getting, honestly, the whole of what I'm getting all together, this is very crude from the paper. This reminds me of another Dunhill fragrance. Dunhill Icon Elite. Mm. The black bottle, which has a lot Never of ebony that. wood in it. This is a darker, more earthy fragrance that yeah. is also full of aromatics at the same time. Man, does it have some something in there uh, that is close to I don't, uh, probably it's not eucalyptus, but something like dry, dry, dry minty and green. Uh, something, but yes, a little medicinal. Yeah, yeah, I see that. There's a lot of greens. It's there's a lot of aromatics yeah. and woods. Yeah, I love this. I a lot of dense lot. woods. To I this. love it. I love. This it. is also coming off great quality. And just a little different. Slightly sporty as well. There's a muskiness in here too. Mm -hmm. There's Definitely. something. Yeah, there's something very like. I, f I feel like y'all are loving yeah. this one. It's good. Yeah. Love it. Talk to me. What's the rating? Nine out of ten. So mm. this is her winner. This beats the most wanted parfum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does this beat Tom Ford Costa Azura parfum, Justin? No, it doesn't. Come on, man. Honestly, mm, I'm going to give it the same. It's an eight. It's so it ties it. So yeah. this is the absolute cheapest fragrance I bought that's in this video. Oh. Rocha Sloan Aromatic Touch. I oh. paid like $34 oh from Fragrance nice. Net recently. This I'm, is the flanker. I have now, the original. Now correct me if mm -hmm. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Does this in any way remind you of Raja Parfum's Apex? The greenness and the earthy tones to it. It's not one to one. It's not the same scent. But I get kind of hits of Apex when I smell this. It might not be depends. giving you that. Might not be giving you that on paper, but on skin, it definitely gives me that. Not really for mm -hmm. me. So for me, it gave me a little bit of that. I'd like I said, not, not a I lot. Can see, a I can resemblance. see myself trying to find that in this, like the greenness of it, but mm -hmm. that's about it. On paper, I mean, mm -hmm. on skin, maybe it'd be mm -hmm, different. Mm -hmm. Guys, I thought they would find this one the most interesting of the group. That's why I saved it for last. I didn't think it would get the highest rating from the both. So, winner of the video, hands down. Rosa Sloan Aromatic wow. Touch. Well, there you go. I kind of expected a lot of what I got here. Some things were surprises, but not really that much of surprises. Mm -hmm. I figured certain ones each of them would like, and I seem to be pretty accurate. I figured him for the Tom Ford. I figured her for the Most Wanted Parfum. I did not figure for the Rocious Fragrance to win, though. But thank you both for being on the channel. It's always a pleasure to have oh, both yeah. of you guys. Thank you for exposing us to these uh, new releases, yes. Russ. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff coming out all the time, and I try to get my hands on as much of it as I can. Yeah. But I appreciate all of you stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to both of their channels. If for some reason you are not already, I'll have both their channels linked below. Until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Bye.